Good morning friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, so I have my hood on. No, I'm kidding, but it's Monday. It's about, I think it's about to be eight o'clock. It's 8.03 and we're about to get our day started. I've been up for about 45 minutes, just a very slow, casual morning. I really want today to be a productive yet not tiring day because I have just been like, I feel like I've been go, go, go so much lately and I'm not necessarily exhausted, but I just think I need to just really take some time to like relax and rejuvenate. And this is the week that I go into the office for my three days. That can take a lot out of a person personally. And I think it's just because I am not used to always being in an office. And even though we only go three days a month, like all together, it's still, it's still a lot. Anyway, um, Today is going to be a long day in a good way because I'm actually going to dinner with three of my internship friends. Two of them still live here. We keep in contact, but one of them, I have not seen her since 2019 and she's here this weekend. So we're going to grab dinner today. So I'm very excited for that. And we're going to Time Out Market, which has been on like my must try list for a while. So it should be a good day, but we have so much that we have to do before then. So let's get in the shower. Let's get dressed and let's conquer today. Okay friends, good morning, the wig is on. It's funny, this wig was like really cute when I first put it on for the Renaissance tour, but I'm actually over it. I was gonna switch to my black wig, but, and this is something I find every time I wear a wig with color, I have an adjustment period, like of getting like used to like having black hair again, and I was really struggling, so yeah. I think this is actually gonna be the last day that I wear this wig, I think it's done its job. And I think I'm just gonna wear my own hair this week, which I haven't done in a while. Um, I, think, I just think my hair needs a break. Even though this is a break because I'm not manipulating it, but I think these hairstyles put like tension a little bit on your head. So I think I'm just gonna do another tension hairstyle, like a slick back ponytail or puff. But anyway, I already said welcome. I already greeted you guys for the day. I'm having a morning. It's interesting, like, how do I say this? There are some mornings in particular where I'm very happy that I live alone because it's like mornings where I don't really feel like talking to people. That sounds very anti, but I'm just telling the truth. And I find that on those mornings when I'm like, oh, I'm so happy I live alone because I don't have to talk to anybody right now. I find that I don't need to answer the phone because when I answer the phone, I'm not in a great mood. It's not that I'm in a bad mood. I just don't feel like talking and talking on the phone always takes away from me trying to be productive. No matter how hard, how hard I try, I cannot be as productive when I'm on the phone. I'm also on my period this week, which probably plays a large role into all of these thoughts. Anyway. I have about 30 minutes until I need to start work, about an hour until my first meeting. And I really just wanna spend this next 30 minutes to an hour just cleaning my space. The last vlog that you guys saw was my birthday party like prep, and I have not cleaned for my birthday party. There are literally balloons in front of me. There are still snacks on my kitchen island. Like, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do. So I think right now I'm just gonna focus on just compiling all the trash, putting it in trash bags. Then I have quite a few things that I need to return, like things that I just didn't use. So I wanna gather all of that and section it off. During my lunch break today, I am planning on running to the beauty supply store so that I can get some hair stuff to like change this. I kinda wanna do a braided ponytail. I think that'd be really cute. So we'll see if that actually happens. Yeah, let's clean, probably turn on like a YouTube video just to have as background noise and like actually get our day started. friends so uh, it is 9 26 and i'm about to have my first call i have three calls this morning back to back this first one is like a transition 
training is being dramatic, but like it's almost like an immersion session with the people whose roles my manager and I are taking over. So just giving us the four on one on these two programs or initiatives. Then after that, we have our first team check in meeting. I already told you guys I moved to a new team. So this is the first time our team is getting together, which should be cool. We're actually all going to be in the office this week. Oh, not everybody. One person won't be there, but five of us will be, six of us maybe. There is this other man, I don't even know what this is. It's something about marketing and social opportunities. Okay. It's funny, there are like so many meetings where I think we're just on there like as an FYI. So it's like, those meetings are always interesting to attend because it's like, well, do I just sit here and just like listen or can I multitask? And when I am multitasking, I like to present my camera off or do like multitasking where I'm not like, you know, like, was it furrowing my brow? Like very minimal multitasking that doesn't require a lot of thought so that people can't really tell that I'm multitasking. But anyway, I'll be on calls for the next hour and a half. And then I don't have another meeting until 3.15. And then my last meeting of the day is at four o'clock. So there's a lot of like meet and greets. So anyway, I guess let's start the day. Hey y'all, time has passed. Even though it looks like I'm in the same spot or like technically next to the same spot. Um, I've been very productive today. My email is a mess, guys. I hate when I have a bunch of unread emails or when I have a bunch of emails pinned to the top of my email because that means those are things that I'm one, confused about or two, things that I need to do. So I have one more meeting today that's in an hour. Oh, nope, it's in 30 minutes. Uh, it's another meet and greet. Let me just use these next 30 minutes to knock some work out. I really want to leave her at five to go to the beauty supply store. I think I told you guys I want to go at lunchtime. I ended up just calling my mom, calling Justin, eating lunch. So I need to be productive so I can leave at five. just three months because this new role just requires honestly so much more from me and it's in areas where I don't necessarily feel like I'm ready per se but I think a lot of the times especially like in a work setting you need to be like not thrown in the fire but you need to like be stretched and I think that I am being stretched and I think this is gonna be really good for me it's gonna be hard no doubt, I'm definitely, I don't want to say I'm going to have to work later. I just think I need to be more efficient with my time. But I can sense the growth. So, yeah, definitely going to be stretched. And unfortunately, it's 5.20. I wanted to, like, be out of my apartment by, like, 5.05 .05 in order to go to the beauty supply store. But it sounds like that's not going to happen. So, we're going to get dressed for our dinner today. We're going to be casual, low-key. I may change my top. I think it's a little warmer outside now than it was like it was like 67 degrees when I woke up this morning anyway I'm probably gonna change my top just throw on some sneakers I'm not dressing up I don't even think I'm gonna put makeup on like literally just chilling um and then we're gonna go to the beauty supply store and then straight to timeout market which I think I told you guys I've been wanting to go for a while I should look through the restaurants beforehand but I'm feeling lazy so probably won't do that I'm trying to think is there anything else I need to do before I go my phone is charging oh I need to get gas Luckily, I'm pretty sure there's a gas station near the beauty supply store that I'm going to, so we should be good. But yeah, me leaving sooner than later will be helpful. And I never remember how long it takes me to get to timeout market. I know I don't live that far away, but I can't remember if it'll be under 30 minutes or if it'll be 30 minutes. So we need to figure that out. And you know, parking in West Loop, like that area over there, can't be tough. So we'll see. All right, friends, this is what we're wearing. One of my favorite tops that I got from Zara. I literally have it in three colors. So I need to get, this is TMI, I need to get new strapless bras. So we'll work on that probably, I want to say today, but we're going to have a long day today. Good American jeans. We're going to put on my white, but not Air Forces, Court Vision, my white Court Visions. By the way, Justin got me some Air Force Ones. Actually, I'm going to show you all the shoes Justin got me because it was more than just Air Force Ones. But anyway, this is what we're wearing. We need to go. We're running behind schedule. One of my friends actually just canceled. She's not feeling well. So it's going to be three of us instead of four of us. So let's go to the beauty supply store and then head to Timeout Market in West Alright y'all, I made it. 
gonna walk over to Time Out Market, hang out with my friends, I'll show you guys my food, and we'll chat later. at Time Out Market. I'll be honest, I actually did not like my food. I got, I don't even remember the exact name of it, but it was like a, basically a Philly cheesesteak from this place, I don't even remember what it's called, Burger Kids, maybe something like that. It wasn't for me. I should have just got the smash burger. Um, no, I should have got the steak shawarma, the chicken shawarma. I was like, no, this Philly cheesesteak thing sounds good. Anyway, but it was good catching up with Kirsten in Montana. I haven't seen Kirsten this year. I think last time I saw her, what she did, was this something for her birthday? It was like maybe a month or two after I had left Discover. So I haven't seen her in a while. And then I haven't seen Montana since our internship in 2019. It was so good catching up with them. Um, life updates, I found out me and Montana are interested in the same like fellowship, or no, that's not the right word. This like grad school program, we're interested in the same one. So it was good like being able to like find like a new companion possibly as, as I go through that process. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was, it was good. A good catch up. We were there, oh my gosh, two, almost two and a half hours. I'm back home and I did go to the beauty supply store earlier and I got two things for myself. I told you guys I'm like sick of this wig. I don't want to put another wig on. I just want something different. So I did purchase a drawstring ponytail, which I haven't, I don't think I've ever done a drawstring ponytail outside of like for dance. Um, so I think it'll be cute. I need to like, like tease it a little bit so it looks a little like messy and not so new but I think it could be really, really cute, hopefully. And if not, I'll just put my hair in a puff. That's the plan for tonight. Good morning, besties. I just put my contacts in, so this is probably a terrible time to start the video, because y'all know my contacts work against me. Today is a work day, which I'm pretty sure you can tell from the title. And in pure Ariane fashion, we are running late. I, I just really struggle with like, body clothes for the work day and like leaving on time oh and it's very annoying but you know what I almost said we're working on it I'm not working on it so there really is no solution it's really just me complaining with no solutions in sight anyway today is our corporate week if you watch the videos you know I have a corporate week once every month which are three days where everyone goes into the office together it's our office in the suburbs and Oh, usually I'm exhausted every single day and I'm hoping that that's not the case this week. I'm hoping that I just feel really just rejuvenated and ready to just, you know, go every single day. That's the goal. For the most part, I'm feeling good today. I feel like me running a little bit late is making me a little frazzled which is not how I like to be. So I'm actually gonna slow down a little bit. If I get to work by nine, great. If not, it's fine. Like I definitely do try to be punctual all the time, but I think it's better for me to come to work with a clear, relaxed mind and like, <gasps> you know, cause that's not beneficial to anybody, especially not me. I feel like in my last couple of videos, I've given you guys like an update on my job and I have been, so busy the last I think two weeks in particular it's actually like crazy I think this is definitely the busiest that I've ever been in my career by the way my three-year work anniversary is in two weeks I believe I started my job in 2020 and it's crazy that three years has gone by and I wouldn't say that I'm struggling because I think that is very that's a very strong word I I'm in an adjustment period where I don't think I am being as productive as I could be because my inbox is crazy and there's so much stuff where it's like, is there an action that I need to take in this email or is this just an FYI? 
Um, while I feel like in my previous role, if I was on an email, it was because it literally directly affected the project that I'm working on or they're answering a question for me. In my previous role, all emails were like related to me, but now there's a lot of things on there that are more of a FYI because I am moving into a very broad role that has its hands in a lot of different things. But anyway, that just has been a lot. I don't have as much free time. Um, if y'all remember in a previous vlog, it may have even been last year, I don't know. But I was like, man, I feel like I go into these office days and I don't have meetings. And it's a little annoying because it's like, uh, I'm just like here for no reason. Like literally it was one day, I'm pretty sure I had like zero meetings. And I was like, I do not need to be here. But now I don't have to worry about that. Like I have a good amount of meetings today. It's not completely booked from nine to five, but there's a healthy amount of meetings for sure. Um, Matter of fact, this morning, we're double booked for one meeting. So it'll be interesting to see what we end up doing. Anyway, feeling good. Actually, after work today, I'm meeting up with a few of my friends and we're going out to eat. Hold on, I need to grab my contour. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm hanging out with a few of my friends and we are going to this place called BD's Mongolian Grill. I used to go there all the time as a kid and when I saw that they have one here, I just like instantly started creaming it. So I was like, hey guys, have y'all ever been here? And I'm pretty sure everyone said they hadn't. And it's very vegetarian friendly. Two of my friends are vegetarian. So I'm excited for us to go and just catch up. Um, I've been hanging out with this group a lot lately. Um, and it's cool. Looking forward to that today. And um, the earliest my friends said that they could do Dinner is probably 6.30, which is fine with me because I'm still gonna leave work at 5, 5.15. And then I think I'm gonna do some shopping. There's Ulta Beauty over there. Uh, I think there's an H&M over there. So we're gonna do our thing. But anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready and then I will show you guys the outfit of the day. I think like right now is the time I wanted to leave. Yeah, literally to the minute I wanted to leave at 8.15. That's not the case. So I need to be out of here by 8.30. I think we can do it, but we gotta hurry up. Throwing on my sandals and it is time to go. I will talk to y'all. Oh, I look nice. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. This is this is so different for me. I've never done this type of like ponytail. Hopefully it stays on. But yeah, let's go. Before I go, by the way, this is what I'm wearing, but I'm wearing heels. So it's a little dressier. All right, friends, we are at the office later than I would like, but it is what it is. Hoping that I have a good day and I will update you guys the next time I'm in my car. I understand why people take smoke breaks at work. This is my smoke break. Ah, it's just so much going on. I gotta get my smoke in. All right, the smoke break is complete. Um, I just needed some time to just get out, have some fresh air, and enjoy a little treat. And I thought I did. Um, it actually would have been nice to have gone on a walk. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow, I don't know. But I am kind of assuming some new responsibilities with this transition, and I need to go to this meeting that my former coworker would have with our agency, so I'm gonna hop on that car now. car washes ever since I got my car it's like the most satisfying thing and then I'm gonna do a quick vacuum after and then I'm gonna stop at Ulta Beauty and then dinner with my friends great day hey friends so I went to Ulta I'm gonna show you guys what I got quickly I just got some boob covers up cover-ups I got some like cheap ones from Windsor and they didn't even stick anyway and then I also got this CeraVe acne controlling cleanser. I wanna try something that has salicylic acid in it, if that's how you pronounce it. 
just to see if that helps with my acne. I don't know if my Tula cleanser has it. I don't think it does. So we'll see. But about to head over to BD's Mongolian Grill. Um, my friend is already over there. So should be late. I'm back home hung out with my friends for a few hours per usual we talk a lot but it was good vibes i think i've been home since about 10 15 and i'm just gonna chill in the bed like there's nothing else i need to do i wash my face i'm not gonna lay my clothes out for tomorrow so i am gonna hate myself tomorrow but we'll just handle that tomorrow um i am not like super exhausted which is very very nice tomorrow we typically have a happy hour and usually i debate if i'm gonna go but I think I'm just gonna go home because I actually really like like being home at a decent time. It's very refreshing. So love that. But anyway, gonna go, get in the bed, scroll on Reddit, maybe play some Sims. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. My back is itching a little bit, so I'm a little annoyed with that. But other than that, I'm feeling good. Very, very good. Good morning, friends. It is another day. Anyway, today is a new day and we are going to go into work. I'm looking forward to today. I think today is going to be a busy day. I have quite a few meetings. Let's see. I have 10, an 11, an 11.30, a one, a two. Ew. Okay, maybe I just need to shake that because I feel like it has been kind of wet lately. Weird. Basically, I essentially have meetings from 10 to 3.30. Um, but I should have time to like get stuff done because some of these meetings are like, you know, I don't really know what an all hands meeting is, but these are like big meetings where there are going to be a lot of people on the call and they're going through like, for example, one of them is our social review. So like my team isn't the only team that has social that's going to be in market. <laughs> so that's something that I can definitely multitask during. <sighs> and then there's another meeting at two that I know I can definitely multitask during. So today should be a little less stressful than yesterday, but yesterday ended on a great note. I don't think I told you guys this, but I ended up just like sitting at, around and talking to my manager and another senior manager for like 45 minutes, just laughing, joking and stuff. And I think that's like the stuff that makes going into the office so like beautiful like when you're able to just like chat and just connect with people even if you're like joking the whole time today i think i told you guys this every corporate week they do a happy hour for the marketing department at this place nearby and i've gone once and luckily i went with one of my co-workers but i just don't think I really want to go. Honestly, in terms of priority, I need to be home. I need to clean my space. I told you guys I'm flying back home to Detroit on Friday. It's Wednesday. Like, I'm not really going to have much time to pack and clean all these next two days. So I kind of would prefer to be home. So unless I really get peer pressure today, I'll be coming home right after work. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready and I'll chat with y'all later. All right, we are leaving about five minutes, five to seven minutes after I wanted to. But here's what we're wearing. Y'all have seen me wear this outfit before. Let's go to work and let's have a great day. Fingers crossed. Hey y'all, so it's lunch and we got Chipotle for lunch. I'm excited. I'm gonna eat it in the office. I'm not gonna sit and eat Chipotle in my car. Chipotle is not a fun thing to eat in the car. I've done it before. Yeah, had a good chat with my manager. The day's going great so far. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and eat and just like enjoy the rest of my day. Hey friends, back in the car. I don't think I vlogged after work. I got my makeup done. I think I got a clip for you guys. Um, long story short, we had a new brand launch recently, Half Magic, and uh, the team came and did our makeup. So super fun. It's giving euphoria. It's giving festival. I told the makeup artist, I was like, girl, I needed you for when I went to go see Beyonce because I wanted jewels and stuff like that, but I didn't have anything. But I think it's cute. Um, I wish I had lashes. I feel like that would make this cute. I just feel like my eyes look really, really bland. But I'm finally home. It's 6.20. Sorry, the train is going by, so it's a little loud. Um, I'm going to take my stuff inside, shut off my clothes, and just relax for a little bit. We'll have dinner. 
we're clean. We're just gonna have a good relaxing day. Now tomorrow, I have to be out the house by eight o'clock. I have to. So we're gonna do whatever we can tonight to make sure I can be at the house by eight o'clock because I have a nine o'clock meeting. All right, y'all, I just wanted to show you the eye makeup before I take it off. I think it's cute. I think it's not my fave because my face is playing. I need lashes. I look tired because of those freaking eye bags. Um, and this isn't my favorite hairstyle, but I love the concept. I think she did a really good job. And this is what, eight hours later, basically? So very impressed, but I'm about to wash my makeup and get in the bed and I'm gonna pack my bag and hopefully lay out my clothes tonight so that tomorrow I can have a smooth morning because like I said, I gotta be out of here by eight o'clock. I have to. And honestly, eight o'clock at the latest. Good morning, friends. Welcome back. Well, it's the third day, so not welcome back, but thank you for still watching if you're still here. It is Thursday, which means it's the last day of corporate week, uh, which I'm excited about. It's weird because <sighs> We actually are going to the office again next week for something called marketing days, which should be interesting. I think we're definitely going to learn a lot. There's definitely going to be a lot of, or hopefully there will be a lot of cross team collaboration. Essentially, we're getting started on our plan for 2023 or 2024. So that's always interesting. Well, I've actually never been a part of that. So it will be interesting to possibly be a part of those types of conversations um anyway i am up i told y'all last night i need i have to be out of here not need i have to be out of here by eight o'clock and i think that we are on track to do that today um it's like 7 30 on the dot 7 32 and i'm about to just do a quick little makeup look i think i'm actually going to wear my glasses today because yesterday just my under eye bag it was bothering me i just did not like how that looked. So we're going to use our glasses today to kind of cover that up. Um, anyway, I just wanted to hop on and say hi for a little bit before I get my day started. So remember when um like scar wearing your scarf like this was like really really popular. Like people still do it now, but like in college a lot of people would like pull their hair back into a ponytail and then wrap this around it. My edges look clean like this though. All right, y'all, this is the outfit of the day. We're wearing this black romper, my cutesy half sparkly jacket, and some sparkly shoes. So we're out. Also, I think I'm gonna do some Target returns after, so that's why we have this Target bag here. Gonna return some stuff for my birthday party. Hey, y'all, I am back home from work. It's 8.22, so I've been like plumbing for about two hours. I actually had a really interesting conversation with my mom and with Justin separately about graduate school. I don't think I'm ready to share just yet, but I've been having conversations. Um, I am about to make dinner and in true Ariane fashion, forgot to cancel HelloFresh. So we have this meal left, the lemon tortellini, lemon tortelloni pal palermo. I have no idea what that means, but essentially it's tortellini with pesto, roasted bell pepper, and parmesan. This is going to be bomb. I'm very excited for this. Um, this recipe shouldn't take too long, but the red peppers need to actually roast in the oven, so that's gonna take about 20 to probably 40 minutes. So I'm actually gonna do dishes, because I have not done dishes this week, if I'm being honest with you, and I still smell the sweet potatoes on the plate. So I just need to be a good human and clean up. So we're gonna do that while the red pepper roasts. Actually, I'm gonna wash and cut up the red pepper. So as soon as the oven's ready, I can just throw the pan in the oven. But I'm excited for dinner and we're just watching YouTube while we clean, you know, keeping it nice and simple. But I am so happy that corporate week is over, that I can like breathe and get ready to do it all over again, minus one day next week. Yay. All right, it may not look aesthetic, but this is our food. Let's try it. I'll be honest with you, I am a little nervous because it has sour cream in it and pesto, and that just does not sound like a pleasant combination, personally. No, it's solid. I think I could use a little bit more lemon, but it's solid. Maybe even add a little bit more salt, but honestly, I've never had anything bad with tortellini in it, so 